Southern's defense got the ultimate trifecta. Just about everything you can ask for from that group. They got multiple turnovers, four of them, multiple sacks, six of them, and to top it all off, they pitched a goose egg. The dog day defense got the performance that they've been waiting for this season and what they come to expect every game. I'll go every week to get a shout out, you know. We don't want, we a stingy defense. We don't want nobody to get anything on us. And um, it feels good to put everything together. We had all our pieces today for the first time this year. And um, just to put everything together, it felt great out there. And um, we knew we had to get after that quarterback. For a defense to do this year, which I know they had a, a dynamic rushing attack. They had the number one rusher in the conference. And then they had a quarterback that can make plays uh, downfield. So, you know, that that's always something that you want to try to come in and control. And for the city to step up and do that. But, you know, uh, it's expected and it came through. Us. Southern's run game has had plenty of struggles this season, but they finally turned in their best performance of the season. 230 yards on the ground. Gary Quarles Jr. led the way with over 100 yards. The offensive line was consistent all night. Um, they made it happen. Uh, we got we kept getting each other ears all week, all week long. We're gonna keep some push. We're gonna keep some get some push, and we made it happen tonight. And I'm proud of them boys. So after starting the season 0-2, Southern puts together back-to-back -to -back wins. This certainly builds some confidence and momentum going into next week, and they're gonna need it. Florida A&M goes to A.W. Mumford Stadium. If you remember, these two teams were picked to meet in the SWAC championship in December, so this could be an early preview. Reporting in Pine Bluff, Kevin Baptiste, WFB Nine Sports.